and welcome to Tuesday on the Political Ranter Show. Oh boy, do I have a lineup for you today. So today we're going to talk about inflation, postal workers day and privatisation of the railway. So sit back and enjoy this episode of the show. So today it was announced on the news that inflation has risen from 3% to 3.1% this year. And this is a six year high when you take a look at the figures. And this was in despite of the Bank of England's target of inflation being at 2%, which is a complete failure on the government and the bank's fault. Inflation consistently rose from 2010 to 2012 where George Osborne was Chancellor, and then it took a little bit of a dip between 2012 to 2015, and then from 2015 it's just completely shot up with a tiny little dip a few months ago. But now we are on a six year rise. So what this really angered me, because when inflation hits, who does it hit the most? The working class and the poor, and the people who have nothing in this country. The cost of living is rising. The cost of food is rising rising the cost of bills rent all your monthly expenses is rising and are you seeing your pay packets rising no absolutely not the public transport is extremely high in the uk inflation rising today was a sign of even more greater equality between the rich and the poor in this country the tories plan of austerity to help the economy is not working the tories plan of privatizing public sectors is not working at all interest rates that are already high will definitely be looking to go higher this year and next year inflation is risen between three to three point one percent this is when i am officially launching my campaign to scrap the public sector pay cap because as you know the public sector pay cap is capped at one percent inflation and this is not livable anymore for our NHS workers, for people working in our public sector who are struggling to work ends meet. We need an economy and we need a country where people who are working in our national health service are not going to food banks because of inflation and because of their wages not rising due to inflation. This is something that needs to be called for to scrap the public sector pay cap. Under this government, the cap keeps going up and up. The gap between the rich and poor just keeps going up and up when we should be doing everything we can to narrow that gap which is what a Labour government would probably do and this will not stop inequality levels rising will not stop tax cuts to the rich why they cap benefits for poor families will not stop all this will continue under a Tory government and this is why we need to work hard to get rid of one wages are set to fall by 0.5% next year absolutely not good enough and the economy needs to be stronger people who voted for the Tories because they saved our economy do the research and check the inflation facts for yourself this is just not good enough from the Tory government it's even more funny to me because the Tories attacked Labour and the Tories attacked and attacked and attacked on Labour's recession when actually in fact it was a global crisis and Labour have still got that image of the people who bankrupted Britain when they were in power so this is coming from a government who has basically messed up the economy and caused inflation to go even higher than it was last year and then it was six years ago this is just absolutely so much hypocrisy on this government's part. We need a real living wage of £10 an hour which was set in Labour's manifesto. We need to scrap the public sector pay cap because it's just not working in line with inflation. Let's move on to the next story of the day. Today was Postal Workers Day where the British public have come together to respect our postal workers and to acknowledge the good things that they do for us and the public service that we all rely on which is the Royal Mail. Tory cuts and Tory privatisation of the Royal Mail has definitely hindered the Royal Mail's ability to do its job properly. Renationalisation of the Royal Mail will make sure that this public service is run in the public interest and not the interest of greedy companies. The Political Ranter Show will always support our postal workers and the Political Ranter Show will always support renationalisation of our Royal Mail. I back my postal workers. Now I want to talk about the next story of the day. The taxpayers of this country face a two billion bill after a botched reprivatisation scheme which was going on in our railways. See, we know by now that privatisation does not work and since the railways have been in private companies, obviously we know by now that privatisation of any public service is not working. British railways are privatised and we have the highest fees in Europe. You know what really bothers me about this? People who live in Crawley, some people have to commute to work every day because they work in London and that's fine. People living in Crawley working in London, that's perfectly fine. What really bothers me is people having to fork over 
basically a quarter or even more than that or even half of their paycheck just to get to work because of how much train tickets are in this country and that is an absolute disgrace when you think about it this two million pound bill that the british taxpayers will have to pay could have gone to the nhs could have gone to other public services but no it's been wasted on the reprivatization scheme of the railways which is a complete waste of money and a complete waste of our public finances because yeah that's where i wanted my tax money to go so let's move on to our next topic of today today i also want to talk about children's services in this country the conservatives come to power children's services has been a really hot issue with 1240 short start centers being closed across the country shutting the door on working class children who need help and who need extra support to get on with their lives now short start is one of those things that needs to be properly funded short start helps children from poorer backgrounds and short start helps children from working class background do better with their lives. Take a look at people like Angela Arena. She was helped by a short start and now she's a Secretary of State shadow, Secretary of State of Education for one of the biggest political parties in the UK. Would that have happened without short start or Labour government? No. So these cuts and these closes of short start centres across the country are shutting the door on children's futures. And with the Conservatives pressing forward and voting for a finance bill instead of investing in children's futures which was demanded by a Labour Party, this has shown how heartless and how even more callous this Tory government can be when they privatise private banks and when they privatise banks over children's futures. So Sorry, kids in poverty, we can't help you because we would rather help the private banks. As we know, due to some of the Conservatives' policies, poverty is rising in this country, child poverty is rising in this country because of terrible policies like the two task tax policy, because of universal credit, because of the bedroom tax, and the government is still not doing anything about this and has even voted of a finance bill instead of investing in our children's future, which was demanded by the Labour Party. This is absolutely disgraceful, heartless and callous. Now, one of the last things I want to talk about on this show today is animal welfare in this country. As we all know, the Conservatives voted that animals could not feel pain and could not feel any harm when it came to animal rights in the EU withdrawal bill coming into UK law. But then, after huge criticism and after huge pressure from campaigners, activists and everyone alike, the Conservatives did a U-turn on this policy. The government now is introducing and proposing a new animal sentience and a new animal welfare bill that will bring harsher punishments to people who are committing animal cruelty and to recognise that animals can in fact feel pain. Should we really be scared of a government that voted that animals can't feel pain? I mean, whatever happened to animal rights? Animal rights are basic rights. This is something that should be included in the UK law once we are out of the EU and are no longer abiding by EU law, which is something I'm really happy about that has been proposed by this Conservative government. Thank you for campaigning, activists, and thank you for making the government pressured into making this decision. I deeply am passionate about animal rights and I really hope we do get to a stage where animals are no longer being mistreated. And the Tories do not have a proven track record on animal rights, especially when the Conservatives were thinking about bringing back fox hunting. David Cameron said he wanted to bring back fox hunting. He said it was a choice. What about the choice of the foxes? I'm glad that plan failed and fox hunting continues to be illegal in this country, as it should be. The Political Raptor Show will always give its full support for animal welfare and animal sentience and any bill that will further the rights of animals and any bill that will protect the rights of animals. So yeah, thank you for watching this episode of the Political Rando Show. We covered some very interesting topics today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much and have a good day.